What's going on everybody? Morgan here. I'm at Arizona State University because I need to get some dating advice from these college students. So let's go find out. Would y'all date a girl with an OnlyFans? Yes. You would? Yes. Why yes? Yes. I get to like show off her and yes. Yeah. OnlyFans hot. Yeah. I support sex workers. So like totally fine. Selling your body on the internet. Totally for it. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, yeah, sure. She's, she Hell could uh, sh sugar mommy me. Hell no. No. Or if she's bringing in like, that could be like a house dad, a house husband. <laughs> that's fine. If she's bringing in like the bands, that's fine. But That's what I'm saying. That's what I was saying. If... So y'all would be okay with your girl selling her body on the internet for other men. Okay, well, when you put it like that, when you put it like that. <laughs> for the bag, though, like, it's a bag. Like, Would you date a guy with an OnlyFans? Yeah, sure. Get, get the bag, you know? Mm, no. Why not? Um, I'm super religious. Why not? Not my girl. Yeah, yeah. not my girl. Yeah. <laughs> Everyone's, yeah. This is a wild question. If a girl is dating a trans man, is that gay? Oh. Yes. No. Not gay? No. no. Bruh. Not gay? They identify as a man, I'm gonna I'm let them have that. That's true. Good okay. for them. Would you date a trans woman? It's possible. Huh? This is a bright future ahead of us. Number one in innovation here at ASU. <laughs> we'll see what happens. I gotta get the math class. If a girl is dating a trans man, is that gay? Wait. <laughs> I don't think so. I don't know. I feel like they wouldn't consider it gay, but I do see that as pretty gay because me personally, if I knew you were a woman, I'm going to look at you as a past woman now. Like, yep. you know what I mean? Like once I know that you used to be a woman, it's going to be really hard for me to like, like obviously I see you physically as a man, I'll call you a he, but dating you, I would consider myself gay if I did that, so. Girl is dating a trans man, is that gay? No, he's a man. No. Would y'all date? A trans woman or a trans man? I have. I would. You sound like a gay. I don't, well, I am gay, so I don't know. <laughs> I personally wouldn't date a trans female. Whoa, I've been, I've been, I've had this debate a couple of times, I feel like. I'm sweating now. <laughs> That's a really controversial topic. Yeah. Fair too, enough. Too early for this. It's 11.51. Yeah, it could be a little gay. It's not like that gay. Well, like it's gay because like this, they have the woman body parts, yeah, you know? Yeah, like, like, like they, they would not have it. Yeah, exactly. So it's, that's gay. I mean, it's probably just a little gay. Well, okay. <laughs> I've seen like like things that are more gay than that. Wow. Okay, would you say that watching porn is cheating? No. No? I think it is. Okay. Because, okay, <laughs> if you're in a relationship and y'all are like sexually active together, why do you need porn? Because you're watching somebody else who is a naked girl. Let's say if, if I had a boyfriend, you're watching a naked girl, um, getting a guy and getting pleasure off it and that girl is not me. So, same thing vice versa. You're watching True. a naked dude, Same thing. it's not me. I wouldn't say I so. I wouldn't say so. Yeah, I, I mean, wouldn't say like so. for your own pleasure, like, yeah. <laughs> I don't think so, no. I uh, yeah, so. I wouldn't say so. Uh, it's like iffy, okay. because like, I feel like a lot of people do that, so I don't know. True. It's very like normalized. Yeah, as long as you talk to like your partner about it, I feel like it's fine. I don't watch porn. Uh, that's Respect. Just, that's a great question. I, I don't watch porn either, I'm with him, but like, why would you need to watch porn if you're like if you with have someone? A girl, I feel like she can hook you up with yeah. like exactly the sloppy and stuff. Like <laughs> sloppy. What is the most toxic thing about men? Yeah, being a man. <laughs> yeah, masculinity apparently. That's true. Society like tends to hate men right now, which is sad. Yeah. It's like the trend. It is the trend. Does toxic masculinity exist? Yes. Yes. Hundred <laughs> percent. Yes. yes. What is toxic masculinity? Break it down. Oh man, it's a hard. It's like. Uh, what is toxic masculinity? Uh, no, I don't. I don't even. What is toxic masculinity? Like guys being dicks. Is that all it is? Guys thinking that they have to be like all like broy, right? <laughs> right? Girls like to say that guys are toxic for embracing their natural masculinity, like for being too aggressive, being too masculine, and they're saying that it's toxic if you're not like doing everything for the girl. But it's like I, instinct though. I no? think that's just them. It's like how you're born. Yeah, like they're just being themselves. I don't know if that's like their yeah. fault. I think men should embrace their masculinity. Yeah. Does toxic masculinity exist? Yes. Yes, okay. Yeah. <laughs> what would you say toxic masculinity is? Um, The idea that like, when boys think they're like above females, pretty much. You know, I call toxic masculinity sassy men. Sassy men. Sassy. What's a sassy man? The feminine men mm -hmm. that believe their femininity is masculinity. 
I think there's also little man syndrome and that kind of goes with it, mm. especially here. Definitely. What would you say is toxic masculinity? Um, when their whole personality is like being in a frat. That's definitely toxic masculinity. So like 50% of this campus? Yes. Yeah, especially in Hacienda. If you're in Hacienda, literally every guy in there. Yeah. So what would you say makes a dude toxic? Their ego being way too high for like how they look. Like okay. they don't really do much, but they think they're better than everyone else. Does toxic masculinity exist? No. No. I, I mean, what's wrong with being a man? I feel like you're, you're like punishing people for being a man. True. Like, nah, nah. Why don't we just embrace masculinity? That's what I'm saying. Like, what, what, what about toxic um, feminine? <laughs> toxic femininity? Is that a thing? Do you think toxic femininity is a thing? No. I mean, if you're if you're a woman, what's wrong with that? Embrace your femininity. That's what I'm saying. Based. Does toxic femininity exist? Yeah. Yeah, I'd say so. Mm -hmm. What would you say are some toxic femininity traits that um, women have? That, like, instead of fighting for equal rights, fighting for more rights, like mm -hmm. putting women above men, mm -hmm. you know? Oh yeah, for sure. There's okay. both, honestly. And it's same, women try to run men. That type of stuff too. That's that's toxic femininity and True. toxic masculinity is the other way around, but like they're running like them trying to run women, it doesn't work. True. So a hundred percent. Yeah, girls thinking they're better than you just because of like dumb stuff like True. Yeah, I feel like there's like this Barbie-esque figure, you know what I'm saying? I especially see it with like uh, all the sororities and stuff like that. Yeah. They put on as some side of themselves that that's just not themselves you know so feminism can still be kind of be toxic yeah if you like take it too far okay. you know see i think men and women should embrace masculinity embrace femininity and there's just toxic behavior right yeah yeah uh -huh. yeah yeah, yeah i think so well i hope you guys enjoyed watching this video be sure to give it a like subscribe to our channel and click that notification bell so you can be notified the next time we're on a college campus near you